Good morning. Well, this morning I need to put some more water into my Virtuo here. I only use filtered water because that way the uh, workings of the machine don't get all gummed up with mineral deposits and stuff like that. We have very high mineral content water here in South Georgia. Oh my goodness. I mean, even um, like around my sink, I get little spots all the time. My dishwasher, um, it's really difficult. It, no matter how much of that, you know, blue rinse and dry, whatever it's called, um, or no matter how much dishwasher detergent I put in, I get spots on my glasses and stuff. Anyway, a lot of minerals. So, okay. Yesterday, I said I was going to make an Alto Intenso, which is a really big cup of coffee. It's 14 ounces, but of course, with the crema, it's going to come out more than that. But it only has the amount of caffeine that an eight ounce coffee would have. So that's nice. I'm gonna do that this morning. So, let me get my Alto Intenso here. Where did I put that? Ah, oh, here it is, right near the top. Nope, wait, that's just a plain Intenso. That's an eight ounce one. Oh dear, well, oh, here it is, way down here. Okay, is this it? Yes. Alto Intenso. So we'll slide back in the Altissio and the peppermint. Oh, there's so many good coffees there, but I'm going to have the Alto Intenso. Okay, I am going to put a little milk in there. Oh, wait, is this milk open? Yes, this milk's already been open. So a little almond coconut milk. I'm just putting a little bit right well I really would like a little more mm, we'll see how that does if I'm gonna end up overflowing it or not okay I will get this started and I'm gonna go put this milk back in the fridge oh golly and you know I need to light a candle this morning. This one is Coconut Sea Breeze. My favorite candles are the Woodwick candles. You know, the ones that have these wooden wicks and that makes them flicker and crackle just like if it was a fireplace. But I can't always find those. Well, I could find them if I wanted to pay full price. But I go to TJ Maxx or Ross or Bell's or someplace like that that always has a whole bunch of candles on sale. Okay, so here comes my... Oh, hey, Sheila, good morning. Philip and Keetza, hey. Okay, I just saw that there are some people watching. So happy to see you. While this is brewing, you know, let me tell you about something. So I retired um, a little over three years ago. And there really is an adjustment to being retired after having worked um, at a job outside the home, you know, from, well, I can't say nine to five. It was more like, 6.30 to 3.30, 4.30, 5.30 or later. <laughs> oh, good morning, Leslie. Karen, hey, good morning, y'all. Well, it's just been an adjustment with retiring. For one thing, I've had to deal with getting over feeling guilty that I'm not working every day and, and accomplishing things and busy, busy, busy. And I, I think I've turned a major corner 
because I've kind of, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, uh, uh, I don't even know what to do. Oh, is it going to overflow? I'm not going to be able to even stir it. Oh, look at that. It's sort of like a souffle, isn't it? Okay, now hang on here. All right, I will continue my retirement comments in just a second. Okay, I'm going to slide this slowly. Oh, oh it did. It overflowed some. Okay. But not bad. Okay. That's hot. Really, it's like whipped cream. I mean, it's not sweet, but it's not really bitter either. Oh, let me hear. <laughs> Someone under the machine. Okay, back you go, machine. Oh, I'll clean it later. Anyhow, you know what? I'm going to live a little dangerously here. I would like to mix in the crema. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it. Here, wait, let me suck a little bit off of this here. I'll finish telling you about, wait, stir it in the sink, Philip and Keatsa say. If I do that, I have to, look, I have to walk across over there, which will just give me opportunity to spill this all over my kitchen rugs. Um, mm, mm. You know, it's a little bitter, but... Tasty. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Retirement. Yes, so I feel that I have come to a turning point. I've turned a corner, which is... It finally, you know, I understood intellectually that I do not have to have something to show for my days. You know, I don't have to have a product or proof or justification of what I've done for the day. But it's like yesterday, I just realized, and part of this is from ta talking with my daughter, talking with some friends, talking with my faith group at church. It's just kind of formed in me the realization, not just intellectually, but kind of in my heart, that I can do whatever I want. I can be led by, you know, I have aspirations to always become a better person than I've been in the past and to be a good person and I don't have to justify to anybody how I've spent my time or what I've done. Um, I guess, you know, when you're working, uh, there's always somebody over you, you know, well, uh, what have you done today? Why haven't you gotten this done? We're paying you. You need to get that done. You know, <laughs> the, the whole idea of um, I guess what you might say is a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. Um, hang on. It's uh, allergy season here. I think it's always actually allergy season in South Georgia. Oh, somebody's waiting. Well, anyway. Oh, okay, so Karen's asking what kind of work did I do? Actually, I have had several jobs in the past. I have a degree in biology. I ended up getting into teaching. Uh, then for a number of years, I was a stay-at-home mom. But during that time, I did a lot of volunteer work that involved writing and editing and um, 
rewriting people's things, sort of ghost writing for them. Not, you know, not for pay. Well, just some of it was for pay. But, um, and some of it involved scientific stuff. But anyway, and I did a lot of photography. And then um, I ended up getting divorced after 21 years of marriage. And um, I had to find work. Uh, in order to support my me and my kids. So I ended up, after doing a few little temporary jobs like delivering phone books and <laughs> things like that, um, and, I, and I also uh, taught, uh, you know, I substitute taught, and I filled in for some teachers on pregnancy leave and stuff like that. And then I got a job working for a Japanese company um, in the United States that made um, stamped and welded steel assemblies for Honda, Nissan, and Toyota. And I actually, it, the company was just starting up in, in this country. They had long been established in Japan, but I kind of got to almost create my own job. I did uh, work with statistics, with documentation, with graphics, and also did, uh, actually over, over many years, I've done a lot of native checker work, which is reading things that were originally um, written by people who were Japanese or other, um, from other countries, uh, papers, scientific papers that they wrote in English, but you know, sometimes we call it Japinglish or Spanglish or, you know, <laughs> that the English is not so, uh, not so good. Need somebody to correct it up. Oh, did I leave out? I started off talking about, um, goodness, I taught school, for, I taught middle school for seven years. I'm getting everything all mixed up here in, in telling you. Well, this is not a chronology, okay? <laughs> anyway, you know, some people say, if you have taught middle schoolers, you can do anything. It's probably true. Anyhow, so um, the last full-time job that I had was for 13 years with that Japanese company. And um, did I mention I also did biomedical research and technical writing at the Medical College of Georgia. Yeah, I'm not a chronology, like I said, it's all out of order uh, from, you know, the times that it happened. Okay, hang on, Gray Gray, can you hang on? Anyhow, so um, the thing is that every job was kind of like a troubleshooting job. I was looking for what needed to be changed, what needed to be done differently, and figuring out how to do it. And the point is that, you know, I was always having to work for somebody else. And um, anyway, okay, so somebody asked what I've done. So those are some of the things that I've done. And yes, I've always had, uh, I felt it's really important to teach, to, you know, not just give an answer about something, but to explain why? You know, even like, what do I think and why I think what I do? Or how does this work, you know? And uh, anyway, I, I need to drink the coffee before it gets cold. I need to take him out. Well, I can always nuke the coffee. Anyway, the point is, I don't feel like I need to have something to show you for what I've done during the day, for the time I've spent during the day. If I want to paint and just fool around and enjoy the colors flowing into one another, it's okay. I don't have to have a finished painting or anything to show for it. Just the activity, doing the activity is enough. It's okay. I think, I think that's the key to retirement is enjoying what you're doing but you know I feel very strongly still working on oneself to become a better person 
Anyway, so I've kind of gone on and on here, but yeah, so um, I'm going to enjoy life today, starting off with my lovely cup of Alto Intenso. I think I may add some skinny syrup to this. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. I went to, where is it? Where, hang on here, let me, here it is. I went to TJ Maxx the other day, um, and for $3.99, they had these Jordan Skinny Syrups, this flavor, chocolate coconut macaron, and, oh, this is so good. I am gonna put a little bit of this in here. Now, sometimes I like to put a lot of syrup so I can really taste it. Obviously, there's not room for a lot. Just gonna put a little, because I just want a hint of this flavor in there. Well, anyhow, listen, you know, if you don't have stuff that you must do today, take a little time to relax. And actually, you know what? Whether you were tired or not, relaxation is really, it's a necessity. It's not a luxury. We all need a little time to relax. We do. It's very, very important to our lives. Oh, hey, Annette, Carrie. Oh, if I missed anybody, good morning to you. So this fella and I are going to get ready to go out. Want to go outside, Grayson? Okay, we'll do that. And... Take just a few minutes to relax today. God bless you.